thought this was for Sky. <laughs> Hi, Matthew. Hello. How are you? How are you? Fancy seeing you here. I know. We're going to be taking a trip down memory lane today. I noticed the photos on the way in. We've got this picture. This is us three. Our oldest brother, Adam's in there. Um, from growing up, you've always had a ball at your feet. And I'm just thinking your style is better there then. <laughs> <laughs> Football's always been the dream, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, yeah. I think from a young age, obviously I was lucky enough there. Obviously I know it was only sort of a lower league, but my dad was always in the our dad was obviously yeah. always in the environment of football and it obviously I loved football for years and years before that and the dream was always to be a, a footballer. It's not as always as easy as that. Um, like them days you used to obviously train Tuesday, Thursday nights after school. After school? Yeah, yeah. Mum after work. Yeah, and to be fair there's Fair play to obviously mum and dad, but there's so many parents up and down the country that are doing the same thing. So, um, yeah, that doesn't go unnoticed, I'm sure. And it's just, yeah, how much you're willing to put in and how much your dedication you're, you're willing to do at a young age to sort of become and try and become a footballer. Yeah. Where's this? That was at Wickham Academy. Mm -hmm. You were at Wickham for so many years, um, but you actually got released from Wickham, didn't you? Yeah, that was, a, that was a, one of the blips I had in my younger stages of my career. You feel like the world's on your shoulders when you when you get released, mm. um, but it just shows that you can bounce back and sort of find another stage into a footballing career, really. And for kids <laughs> watching who may be 14, 15, going through the same thing, what would you say to them? What advice would you give them? At that age, obviously, you've got school as well, so you need to focus on that. Um, but yeah, enjoying it and, and working hard, really. Yeah, that's what I sort of done to try and get here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Moving on. Oh. Bigger then than I am now. <laughs> <laughs> Dad used to take me down the local park. We had a long walk. Obviously, you know, we mm -hmm. went a long walk in Windsor and I used to run up and down the tree line and he used to shout at me and hold a pole. Uh, not a pole to, to do anything bad, just to <laughs> jump over. Just a stick. Yeah, yeah. I've had a lot of tough love. I think all of us have really mm -hmm. to, to sort of grow up and be good people as well as good professionals. Yeah, just to sort of, he's always drilled it in us that you have to work hard to get where you want to be. If, even if I have a bad game now, he's on to me, so... Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I listen to my dad as well as the manager. So thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> and here you're at Fab. So tell us a bit more about Fab Academy. Yeah, so there I was at Fab. Obviously, I, um, after school, went to college and um, I had to get grades to get in. I didn't get any grades because I wasn't that great at school, as no, you know. No, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, obviously, you would go to obviously Fab Academy, which is a Monday to Friday scholarship. Um, train every day and, and they've been obviously really good to me if it wasn't for them then obviously I wouldn't be here either they mm -hmm. gave me the opportunity to go to Forest that was my first day on trial at Forest yeah that was the uh, you there. I know. yeah that was obviously a, a massive step in my career when obviously I broke into the academy there I mm -hmm. uh, got a lot of people to thank there obviously moving away from home as well which was difficult um, especially 17, 17 yeah. yeah apart from physically what is the biggest difference between you and this picture you playing it for in the Premier League now for Villa? Apart from physically, I think obviously you're a lot skinnier. <laughs> <laughs> I think like mentally as well, really. I think there I was just a young boy. Mm. Um, and seventeen, now, you were, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And I think obviously at seventeen, you have a lot of growing up to do to get to where you are now. At me at twenty six, but yeah, I think yeah, physically I've developed, but then I think mentally as well in terms of the way I look after myself and my my routine and stuff. If you're 17, 18 and you're at a club and you want to go out and play, I think it's a, the best thing to do. Like for me, I learned a lot playing men's football in and amongst mm -hmm. men. It was completely different to playing academy football and I, and I learned a lot, yeah. And obviously I, I, li I moved away from home and then I, when I moved to Dagenham, I moved back at home. Mm -hmm. So I was having mum's breakfast in the morning, that helped, <laughs> I think. <laughs> You made the jump from the Championship to the Premier League. Was there ever a time where you felt, I don't really belong or I'm not ready or doubts in your mind? No, I think when I came from Forest to Villa, I was obviously had a really good year the year before at Forest. Um, and I, I felt ready, yeah. So I sort of came here with a lot of confidence. Because going from the Champ to the Prem is one thing, but then actually performing and, and doing it is another thing. Um, and yeah, it, 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 they helped me settle in massively. I think obviously we signed the likes of Ollie Watkins, mm -hmm. who's obviously here now. Um, and he helped me. Obviously, we came from the same division, so we sort of blended together and sort of, yeah, just went on, on the road together and, and jumped on it. It was good, yeah. So what's been your favourite specific moment being a Villa player? I'd say qualifying for Europe, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a big achievement for the club and for me personally. So, yeah, I'd say 
doing it with a team and, uh, and qualifying for Europe. Moving on to the manager, Unai Emery. Um, he's helping the team improve every day. I mean, results are speaking for themselves, but how is he helping you individually grow as a player for yourself? Yeah, he's helping me massively individually. Um, I think as well, what he does for the team and, and the sort of information and the detail that he goes into helps players. Um, as you see, the results that we're, we're picking up and the, the way we're going, the way we're playing is, is, is credit to him, yeah? And mm -hmm. um, everyone's jumped on board and it's going really good. Good. We're going to move on now to Poland. So this is the picture I have. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was when I got my um, passport, yeah. I was at the, in the embassy in London. Yeah, it was great. Obviously a great moment, proud moment for me and the family. Yeah, I think the family are sort of the one thing in life that always stay with you mm -hmm. and always there by your side. Um, and yeah, obviously I can't get a better family, I don't think. As you know, our family are really close and tight. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they've been with me every step of the way, not just with football, but in terms of everything as well. I think family are important because as a footballer, sometimes you get drawn so much into football that you forget about other things which is just normal because you're that addicted to it. Mm. Um, but family are sort of the people that sort of help you along the way. So, yeah, thanks to you as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, we can't talk about Poland without talking about the World Cup. How surreal was it playing against Messi, Mbappe? How cool was that? Yeah, it was amazing, yeah. I think playing at the World Cup was my pinnacle and my, um, yeah, my sort of goal, really. Um, and now I've obviously got an opportunity to go to the Euros if we qualify. And yeah, I want to want to do that as well. What are your ambitions and hopes for this new year? Yeah, just to keep improving as a player. Um, started the, the new year well with a goal and I just want to keep doing that, yeah. Keep being consistent, keep scoring, keep assisting. And I won't forget the clean sheets as well. Yeah. Emmy Martin, I'll be happy with that. Oh, well, great. Well, thank you for joining us. <laughs> thank you. We got to know you a bit more <laughs> from a sister side. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much.